we are in the process to go into different social status, and I'm allowed to see there are different kind of realities in the world, and I love that. I absolutely love that. This is a confusion, chaotic in the world in our life. I'm that kind of person who is always afraid of people have、um, one answer, and they are so sure of themselves. I don't want to be sure of myself. I want to be challenged, and I. Actually, I want to feel stupid because when you're stupid, you learn, and when you're so smart, you know everything. You forgot to to learn because the world is beautiful. I, I, it's not a perfect world. It's definitely not perfect, but it's just beautiful. That's it. And and as a journey, we what can we do? Just enjoy it, right? So I think the older I am, and the more I travel, that actually the, more, the happier I am. But for me myself, I always wondering what's next. You know, I I want a revolution. But after the re revolution, what's next? Revolution. I want the world to change, but I think the difference between the the Orient and、um, the West is because、um, we have different set of、um, thinking.、Uh, we draw our wisdom from life, from little things, experience from our parents, from our ancestors. So、um, we are more down to earth than they are. We are more pragmatic. So when we deal with life, sometimes we will demonstrate some kind of very strong strength.、Uh, even something really terrible happen, like the end of the world.、Um, the Western people, because they even they they don't go to church now.、Um, I think maybe deep inside they still believe in God or some kind of higher existence. So when something bad happen, they want to know the answer. They will look for something very. High existence to look for philosophical abstract ideas to solve their issues in their own life. When Western people, when they have a spiritual crisis, they always try to come to the Orient to seek for、uh, answers. The Orient always got held as like the kingdom of spirits for the Western、uh, imagination. So that's one of reason I want to put those characters when they face the crisis of their personal life,、uh, when they think they are facing the end of the world, they want to go far, far, far away to a so-called relatively strange country and to seek for the answer to their life. This is very, very、um, precious. Heritage of Western civilization is the the power of、um, abstract thinking, to philosophize about our life as a human beings. I just feel that if the world comes to the end,、um, everyone will be forced to. Take a deep look into their soul, and think about who they are, what they, what what they were, and if they were given the second chance, you know, like rebirth,、um, what they want to go from here. So that's the whole I、uh, basic idea about this story.、Uh, it's about resurrection. You know, you come to the bottom, almost nearly death experience, and then、uh, you got. Reborn again, so that's、um, that's the idea. But、um, at this moment, I'm not very happy with、um, the progress of the story. I'm kind of stuck a little bit.、Um, maybe I need to rewrite、um, the whole things. I I don't know. I'm struggling because、um, this character I created、um, have a lot of issues, and、uh, it seems that、um, they were.、Um, They were drawn in their shortcoming and couldn't really、uh, come out. You feel that 
they are a little bit like child, perhaps too naive. And uh, for example, this character Mikael, um, he he is very very um, sentimental, quite fragile. He's always afraid. He's sometimes crying and breaking down. He try very hard to find the meaning of his life, but he always fails. He's miserable, obviously, and he needs to be loved desperately. Um, as for the plan, I invented for Jean Paolo. Um, I always say that I have a big plan for him in the future, but which is not true. I already put him in a climax right from the beginning of the story. Uh, however, this climax he cannot sustain, and that's why he got stuck too. It's part of my fault. Uh, Tatiana, also another mistake. I because um, I kind of obliged Tatiana to get rid of Mikael, uh, which is wrong because we all should learn to carry on and live our life without dead people to carry the memory of our loved one even when they are gone in our life is is a way to complete ourselves so right now i'm totally fucked i don't know how to uh, carry on because i don't know how to solve this asteroid issue and uh, i don't know how to finish this story